Well, here we are again, Kayleen and myself, and we're moving on with the Lord, and I pray, or we pray, that that's the case with you. And you know, I'm celebrating a birthday next Sunday, on March the 10th, and it is my 42nd birthday. Believe it or not, I'm 42. <laughs> yes, 42 years old in the Lord. I was born again on March the 10th, 1971, in the Founders Theatre, Hamilton, when I observed the healing, miraculous power of God through an evangelist. And I just pray, or we pray, that you are also enjoying a walk with God. For if you're not, you're really missing out. In those 42 years, uh, of course, I had many years with Pat, my previous wife, who passed into glory two years ago. In those 42 years, we saw our marriage healed. We saw our children follow the Lord. Our two sons are leading promise keepers. We saw God move all the time. And health and strength gave us wonderful health and strength, uh, body and mind and in spirit. So that's what God will do if we are prepared to trust him, submit to him, and follow him. Now, one thing I'd like to mention today, and Kelly and I have been talking about it, is fear. Fear is a spirit. Uh, the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. And we can have fear over all sorts of things. Fear about work, fear about health, fear about everything. But you know, our refuge is in Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible says, commit your thoughts to the Lord and your ways will be established. And also, we are to submit every thought to God. So when we are attacked by fear, realize it's a spiritual force that's taking us on. Isn't that the case? Amen. And we need to be able to say, I'm using the whole armor of God against this. I'm submitting to you, Father. I'm trusting you. I'm coming under your wings. And as a result of that, I'm believing that the spirit will flee. And I've proven this the case over many, many years. So today, if you are suffering from any form of fear, you're under attack, now's your moment uh, to receive a touch as we pray. I'm going to ask Kayleen, would you like to say anything further on that matter for a moment? I just wanted to say, Bill, that when you were speaking about this, the situation so often with fear is once we've had a deliverance from fear, that the spirit is gone, we need to boldly, every day, ensure that we take our thoughts captive. So if those right. thoughts come back into that situation or we start to feel afraid, we need to take those thoughts captive and really look to, Lord, look to the Lord, look to Jesus to be the one to bring us through into a state of freedom, which is what he desires for us. Amen. Bringing every thought into captivity to Christ. Absolutely. And just before we pray, uh, just to say that we're about to embark on meetings throughout New Zealand. We've got a heavy schedule this year. We're coming to all the main centres and many of the provincial centres. We've already started with a meeting like that uh, last night in South Auckland yes. and next Tuesday in Christchurch, the following Tuesday in Tauranga and so forth. So go to our website, you'll find our itinerary and bring some unsaved person or sick person along to the meetings and let them have a touch from God. Now we're going to pray and as we do so, we know that the power of God will be touching you. And we want to you to believe Amen. that, isn't that so? Amen. You Absolutely. get that anointing. Thank you. And so we're trusting God for that. I'm going to put my hand out now and I know Kayleen will too towards the camera. We're going to believe the power of God will flow and we pray accordingly. I'll pray first. Father, we do thank you, Lord, for your love. Dear Daddy Father, that's what you are, Abba Father. And you, we come to us, you as little children, praising and worshipping you, Lord, bringing every one of our problems to you, but knowing, Lord, that you're the best problem solver of the lot. As we submit to you, Lord, you show us, you give us wisdom, you give us your peace, you give us your power. You are a wonderful Father. So today, Lord, I pray for every person watching this particular video. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind, or we bind, we bind every spirit of fear afflicting any person. And now, Father, as that spirit is bound and flees, we pray now for your great anointing on each and every person watching this video. And we say, believing, don't we, Kayleen? Be healed, say together. Be, be healed, healed and set, set free, free in the, the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Would you like to pray for one moment? Thank you, Father, for your presence here with us all. And Lord, we just ask for a special touch of your precious love upon each one watching this video, that they would really have a sense of your love and care for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, and yes, we both say amen. amen. Praise God. Praise God. Have a wonderful day.